chicken. Ah. Ow. A piece of the sky? Not again! The sky is falling! Something really big is going down. What's that noise? Sorry. Nervous eater. Walt Disney Pictures presents... Come on, Dad. We've got a planet to save. Rock me a little hippie, oh, Bob. Yeah. Chicken Little. Look, Mama, there's the crazy chicken. Yes, it is crazy little chicken. You're so smart. We don't make eye contact. Bye-bye. Abby Mallard, a.k.a. Ugly Duckling. Yeah! By the way, I'd like to say I've always found you extremely attractive. Fish out of water. Fish, are you okay? <laughs> don't, don't tap the glass. They hate it when you do that. Runt of the litter. I can't handle the pressure. Where, where's your bag? Where, where's your bag? Oh, 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 Mocupine Porcupine. Yo. Buck Cluck. Son, there's something I want you to know. What then? In about three seconds, I'm going to scream like a little girl. Turkey Lurkey. Hurry! Oh, look! A penny. Guys! Oh, right. Ah! Some heroes are born great. He's the greatest Others have greatness dropped upon them. Signs. Waited at all space train crossings. And of course, followed all detour instructions, just as a good space deputy should. Meanwhile, little Squeak, already behind schedule, is quickly delayed again. Having failed to study his flight instructions, he is unable to avoid the heavy rain cloud. To make matters worse, his wipers bog down from the dirt on his unpolished windshield. When, at last, the puppet recovers his bearings, good old Scratch is rounding the moon and heading back home. In a desperate effort to make up lost time, Squeak streaks for a shortcut, completely ignoring the sign which reads, Dangerous Passage, Keep Out. Too late, the puppet learns his mistake, for the cave-in traps him deep inside. At Zero Zero Island, Scratch skids to a halt to wait for his friend. As time passes, the puppet still does not arrive, and so Scratch retraces his course and finally spots the familiar cowboy hat of the little puppet. As he is fully prepared for all emergencies, the caveman is able to free his helpless companion and save him from a terrible fate. And so, thanks to good old Scratch, the careless puppet arrives at last, safe and sound, back on Zero Zero Island. With a sigh of relief, Squeak discovers Colonel Bleep is still unaware of his carelessness. He feels fine when he sits down, but when he stands up, things spin around. Huh. Must be the eyes. Uh, the first thing, the eye test. Uh, look as hard as you can at that chart. But... Uh, no buts. I'm the doctor. Hmm? <laughs> uh, look hard at the chart. But the doctor had forgotten about Underdog's powerful X-ray vision. And soon... You set the place on fire! Back at the laboratory. He's filling the room! Look out! Look out! Meanwhile, back at the hospital... Oh, the very strange business. He feels fine when he sits down, but then he stands up, things spin around. Which way do they spin, huh? <laughs> it's very simple. We just put him on the spinning machine and spin in the opposite direction. <laughs> so, uh, sit here. I lose 
has more patience that way. Meanwhile, the giant was becoming bigger and bigger. <laughs> But the only person with a chance to stop him was Underdog, and he was still in the hospital. Disaster! Disaster! A giant is loose in the city. He's coming this way. When the city's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Poindexter? Sorry, no deal. What? I'm lonesome. I want my babysitter, Felix. Felix? Not that pest. Uh, master, look. Felix the cat. A rather poor imitation of him. It will do. Watch. Felix, what happened to Poindexter? Poindexter a robot and Felix a rag doll. What happened? <laughs>